So today I'm going to be doing my makeup and I'm wearing these press on nails. Um, they were gifted to me. I hate them. <laughs> they were gifted to me from like a friend or family or something um, ages ago. And I kept them away and never wore them. I'm wearing them now just because I prefer watching ASMR uh, or making it at least when I am wearing them. Okay, so um, I'm just going to be doing my makeup as I normally would. Um, and I'm first, I'm going to start like by preparing my face. Preparing my face and I use um, this like weird. Um, moisturising retinol cream, moisturising cream face, neck and hands retinol. I'm sure it can't be kept that good. I think it's like two pounds something. Um, and it it smells really nice. It smells like a cucumber. Okay, I think that the window is open, uh, so you could hear loads of sounds. But I've just closed it. But yeah, this is lovely. I really love this. Um, and I mean it feels nice enough on the skin so I just use it, I'm just trying it out because I was listening to some like a skin, like a, uh, not a dermatologist, I think he was like a, I think he's like a plastic surgeon, he's on social media, he's called, um, Dr. Yu. So I'm just going to move my hair behind my ears just for a little bit but um, yeah, this Dr. Yoon was saying that retinol was the best for like um, preventing wrinkles. I'm not that bothered about um, aging. I feel like everyone ages and it's such a blessing to age. And I don't think that we should be trying to hide aging. Um, but... Um, that doesn't mean that, be, like, that's what I think, ideally, but it's, there's still a lot of pressure and I feel that pressure to, to, um, you know, give into it even if you think it's wrong to, not wrong, I don't think it's wrong, but I don't like the narrative of women having to look young all the time. Anyway, regardless, that's just what I use and it leaves a nice smell and it makes your face feel tacky. You see, my skin is actually really um, bad at the moment um, because of my time of the month. Um, so I've broken out all my chin and up here and stuff. It doesn't look so bad now because I put um, concealer on in the day because um, I saw some of my friends. Uh, but it, yeah, anyway, now for makeup. I'm not going to put any primer on. I'm not going to put any primer on now. So, this is my makeup bag. When I was a kid, I wanted to have my bridesmaids wear this, like, periwinkle. beautiful bag. I got it from TK Maxx, I think. And I love like, um, like rummaging sounds when it is um, off camera. I don't like it so much when it's on camera. It stresses me out a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to cover up this light just so that the lighting... I'm going to cover up this light just so that the lighting isn't too Um, okay, normally, 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 I'll start with my eyebrows. Considering doing your makeup at the same time, I think I'm going to save that for another video, just while I'm getting into the hang of filming again. So we have loads of moisturiser now behind my nail. I'm going to just take them straight off after this, so I'm not too bothered. I'm going to 
there's this little spoonery thing. I'll just brush them down, I like them. Cute, okay, so you fell. I dropped you. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna use this and I'm just going to brush my eyebrows how I like them. I'm not too bothered what they look like just in this brushing um, stage. I actually personally like to have, I want to just move this as well, or try at least. Just, it's always there, it's always there. Um, I don't like the whole, like, um, I, re I really don't like, I really, I really don't like this whole, like, laminated brow look um, on me. I've not seen them on anyone yet that I've liked. It's just not my thing. I haven't seen them yet on anyone that I like. It's just not my thing. Um, but I mean, there's potential. Plus I'm always like five years late to any trend on the planet anyway. So I will probably love them one day, but I'm still loving the whole 2016. Brows. Anyway, I know that this is disgusting, like this is vile, and I would never use this on someone else, but this is what I do when I'm doing my eyebrows. Is that just like flatten it out with this, and then I use this Morphe, I think it's like the 35B palette or something, and I only got it. Well, I got it when I was on my 16th birthday and I was so happy, so happy um, because of the yellow because I was watching like James Charles and everyone and all of the like rainbow looks had yellow in anyway, I'm just going into the black in this corner I'm just gonna just, just, just gonna. anyway, I'm just using the black and just filling in my brows I used to mm, not have to fill in my brows because my hair naturally is um, when I actually use this um, mirror that I always use um, because I'm not a huge fan of the way it looks when people look in the viewfinder especially myself go 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 okay So I just fill this in and right at the end I like it to not come down so much so you know the um, this is like the curve I like it to stay pretty straight not exactly straight but I like it to stay pretty straight just for the lifted effect because I do have quite a round face. I like I don't know what shape it is, if it's love heart, round, diamond, whatever. Um but I oh sorry. I do like to have things as lifted as possible for as long as possible. I like the more sleek. Look, you might be looking at this and thinking, God, that's not sleek. And if you have any tips on how I can make it way, um, like, more. So if I look like that, that's how I want, that, that's kind of how I go off my makeup. So if you have any tips on how I can make it more like, then please do share. <laughs> so, to be honest, I don't faff that much. They look so ugly. Well, my, my eyebrows look so ugly so much of the time because I just simply I'm saying that I'm going to use this mirror but I'm not um, it's probably better that I don't to be honest because otherwise I'm just like that because otherwise, because otherwise I'm just like that and um, so I'm actually going to just put this down for now sorry if that was loud I'll make it quiet um, so I'm going to go in with the same black I go in with the same black and go right in my eye line. So I use the short end to lead the 
a line, so I am gonna use a different little mirror really quickly. Oh my god, GB ASMR and all the other ASMR creators and um, Shrek that came out. It's so funny. I've not watched it alongside Shrek yet, but if you don't know, it's meant to be um, you're meant to be able to play their like remake alongside um, Shrek. Oh my god, I can't sit with this. Okay, this will have to do. I'm so uncomfortable, but it'll be okay. So, yeah, you're supposed to be able to watch GBs like in line with it. Anyway, I don't know if this is safe, so I would consider. I've got to get quite a lot of product on. The only thing is, it goes in my eye a lot, so. But you can see already, if I just look up the leg, my eye already looks so much more framed. And I've only done the bottom. And I've only done the bottom. So I'm gonna do the other eye. I don't like doing my top waterline. I don't know if that's what it's called. I don't like doing the top as much. I used to only do the top. How silly the bottom line in the bottom. It looks so much sleeker. And then when I've done that, I'll take it right to the end. So from here. And then I've got to use a mirror for this and connect it all. And then when I've finished the line, I go out of my eye a little bit. Go out, out, out. Ew. Ew, what was I thinking? I knew that was going to be bad when I first did it. I'm gonna have to watch myself. I'm gonna have to watch it on that side. And it goes down a little bit. And then for my wing on the outside, I follow the same line. So, and I actually don't follow the top, so a lot of people do line out like that. But I go from the bottom, so I just keep the line from the bottom going. I saw someone, I have no idea. Put it on the line and then keep flick and then you build on it and then when it's closed just kind of do it do you, do you understand do you see the vision and then i'll go on the top i'm gonna finish this eye So I'm not going to do it under like the middle, I'm just going to leave it there, but you can already see the difference in eyes. And personally I really like it, maybe it's just a phase, maybe I'll grow out of it. <laughs> so just starting off this line. This eye is always way harder to do for me. Or maybe it's not this eye, maybe it's just the second eye I do. You understand that? And then I'll connect it at the edge. So you can't tell the middle because your lash line um close it, you can tell. Yeah, so my lashes, you can't really see my lashes, but you can tell that they um you can tell that there's a dark line there. If I did this under it, that would absolutely thicken the look of the lash line. Um, and sometimes I do that. But I do feel that it's just a lot of product to have around my eye when I um, I'm doing my eye makeup. So I do prefer not to thingy. Anyway, I've finished with this palette. Mm, FB, worthy, worthy. I used to really, really want the James Charles. James Charles. J J D D D D ooh, ooh, ooh. God, lighting is not my friend today. Lighting is not 
my friend today. Anyway, I used to really want the whoa, whoa, whoa power. Um, but I never got it because I didn't need it. Because that, the 35B or 34B, whatever that is, basically had the same colours in it anyway. Um, and so there was just no point and it would have just been ridiculous overconsumption. I'm 22 now and I have had that since I was 16. So yes, it's definitely expired. But, 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 but I don't care. The foundation. Sometimes if I do my eyes like this and I'm wearing mascara, I don't wear foundation. But if I'm wearing mascara and fake lashes, then I do wear foundation. But I don't want to do lashes today. I'm only gonna do mascara. I'm only gonna. I'm only gonna do mascara. Um, so I wouldn't do foundation, but I'm gonna do the rest. Like, yeah, you'll see. So I take this. When I don't do foundation, I use this really, really light concealer. This is way too pale for me. You can't tell now. It looks like my color, but when it's on my skin, when it's on my skin. You will understand. I'm gonna try and turn the light so it's a bit further from me. Okay. I'm it wide. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I do need that a bit. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. So. With this, this is very light, very, very, very light. Okay. And I just, can you see? That was a lot. That's a lot. So when I do my foundation, not my foundation. When I do my concealer, I always like look down to see which lines I'd like. And I don't normally do this, but I'll show you. If I want to have like more defined cheekbones, I will look down and follow like my So just to intensify it a bit. Um, I do do this sometimes, but I don't always do it with concealer. Sometimes I bake, but I don't bake if I'm not wearing foundation. Um, I feel like that's like an unwritten rule. An unwritten rule. I don't know, maybe some people do it. I just thought of it texture-wise just goes through me. So this is really is really light and this is just basically gonna make it look like there's more definition in my face but again I have very like hamster cheeks <laughs> um and so I really have to really like dramatic with it. You might think I'm not doing a very good, 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 good job at blending and to that I say you are right. But because I'm on camera I don't want it to be blended out too well. I want it to be, you know, a good, a decent job. Not too well because um, I'm not going anywhere. This is just for the camera. And so, but if you do like everyday makeup on camera, it's not going to look right because um, the camera won't pick up on the subtleties, especially in this kind of lighting. So, I'd rather have a harsh line hasn't been blended out properly that you won't be able to see is a harsh line like when I take this off I'll go into the bathroom and I'll be like that's horrendous but on the camera it'll just look like it 
normally would if it, for clarity that was the L'Oreal Accord Puff V it's that Puffy Puffer Puffy Serum Corrector Lumina Lumina um, 1.5 Hyaluronic Acid and Caffeine 4.5% by L'Oreal Anyway, next I'm going to use this Revolution Revolution Chocolate Bar from, um, I don't know if it's a bronzer but I use it as contour So I'm going to take this, like a quite thick brush Pat it. I know that looks so harsh, but I'm gonna blend it. And I like this to go like a bronzer. Because for me, this is like it's not cool enough to be it's not it's not it's not it's not cool enough to be a um, contour but it's not warm enough to be a bronzer so I kind of use it as both I kind of use it as both I get a bit more it's so really dull See where I'm gonna place it. I might film another video after this. Maybe I'll change my top though, so it's not as boring to you to look at. I always put loads right at the tip, like the most, so it looks really shadowy. I can literally see the powder moving in front of my eyes as I'm dusting it off. Eyes as I'm dusting it off. But that's how I'm looking so far. And then I'm gonna, that's the highlighter. Never use that, it's terrible. It's like a grey. Oh, the bronze is so good. Um, and then I'm gonna use this sun kissed cheek to it. Shaking lip tint, vitamin E, and you use the slightest bit, literally like that's too much. Mm. And I take this um, blush, this like wet blush blush. I have a dry blush blush and a wet one. The creams and powders. So I just blended it in my hand and now I'm applying it first with the brush and I go back in with my beauty blender. This like applies. This is so pigmented you need literally the tiniest, the tiniest little bit. And that's all. That's all gone off hand that I can get. But I'm gonna come back to it. The, and the bottom. Yeah. Not so harsh. It just get, and it then it just gives you a bit of colour. If you um I don't know where I got that from, my sister just gave it to me and said it didn't suit her because she didn't use it as a blush, she used it as a lipstick Anyway, next I'm going to use this Rimmel Lasting Radiance Concealer Concealer and use it not on the not on the, um, not on the places that I wanted to highlight but on the places I actually do want to conceal Now you should always um, 
not applied directly to your skin. And of course, I'm not going to follow my own advice. This is nearly out anyway. If I had a new tool, I don't think I would just. Yeah, I probably would have to like, just apply it straight. Oh, that looks a bit red. No, it's not. It's just a light. Good. And then a bit up there. Okay. And then. I'm going to go back. Oh, that was in the shade. Oh. Rio Classic Beige and then I'm going to go back to the other concealer the other L'Oreal one. Oh no that was Rimmel this one's L'Oreal just you can tell the difference in colours so intensely there I think I think I think I hope you feel welcome here I hope this is a nice video Sometimes I watch some people's ASMR videos and it feels unsafe. Like I feel really, mm, I don't know, like I'm dreading something the next day or something. Oh, I've been hoovering downstairs, so I'm so sorry if you can hear that. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. And I have to get this video filmed before people come upstairs. And even quick, more quickly, more, more quickly if I want to film another. Which I should have time to do because I've been doing this for half an hour roughly. I'm going to take my mirror back. I'm going to do mascara. I don't know why I do everything in such a way. Maybe it's just today that I'm doing it like this. This is my cherry um, lash curler. I'll hide it because you don't like it. <laughs> there you are. But yeah, I hope this um, video actually is um, fun. Because yeah, makeup, I love my favourite makeup video ever. It's Grace V's when she. the videos where she said she used to say I used the Maybelline Dream BB Pure in the shade 110 light medium that like those videos are so relaxing to me and for um, animal cruelty reasons I'm so glad she switched but the just sound of Maybelline Dream BB Pure is just so relaxing Waterproof. Okay, okay. I've done half of that. I I'm gonna take my camera back. I just had to adjust my seat because my back went numb. And I'm using the Lash Sensational. Sensational by. I don't know who it is by, I'll check. Look how long that is. You might not like those lashes, but I will love them. Mm, this is more. Do my bottom lashes at the end. Do my bottom lashes at the end. end, end. Um, and then, did I already curl those? I can't remember. I'm gonna just do it. epilepsy and I have really bad brain fog and today it's been it's not too bad but it's worse than it's been for it's worse it's worse in the last like hour than it's been in like the rest of the day so I'm just trying to find my feet and remember what I'm talking about I just like to
think I've only done like one plunge into the mascara. This is a new one though. Uh, I've tried it before. Actually, no, I haven't because I only tried the non-waterproof one. I can't open it. <laughs> I do one at a time, like one lash at a time. I don't bother giving it much time to sit all of the time just because I'm rushing. It's a bit clean. A lot, like I do my makeup in the car a lot. Epilepsy, I can't drive yet. Um, well, actually, recently I've been able to, but I've not passed my test yet, so I'm not driving on my own or whatever. So, uh, when me and my boyfriend do things, this is just um, perf uh, lip pencil, by the way, like a lip liner pencil. Um, ew, did you see that? Why did I do that? But no, so when me and my boyfriend go out with our friends. He drives, so I do my makeup in the car. <laughs> so I always just have loads of stuff in the car. It's all this stuff that I'm using right now, but it's just always in the car. It's always in the car. Anyway, for my lower lashes, I'm going to use this that I've recently got at the same time I got the, the waterproof other one. This is the Maroon Sky High um, Mascara and I only do my bottom lashes with it just because I don't want them to be quite as intense as my upper lashes. And I do still like to make them longer at, the, at this end, at each end. Now I use this pen and this um, shine a light, like bronzery contoury thing, and I do my nose. So my thumb you have like a bit of Nigerian heritage, and my um. Dad's side of the family, I mean, of Nigerian heritage. And so, um, in our family, like wider um, noses are um, run rampant. <laughs> um, no, but on my mum's side, they have very narrow noses. So, my cousins had these really cute little petite um, noses. And I used to hate it, having such a wide one. And then I grew up and I found the beauty in everything that I am. Which can sound um, a little bit bland. I always find when people give like little like statements without much detailing. So, this is really controversial, okay, but I do like two lines up here um, and it looks sometimes like I'm trying to draw like a bump in my nose. I'm not, but I've just found that when I make it more um, like narrow at the top, it like thins it out. Now, don't get me wrong, there is nothing wrong with a wide nose. In fact, I love wide noses on so many people. In fact, I've never seen someone with a, a nose um, that I haven't liked on them. One second. I just have a green, 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 green. Um, but so I've not finished planning my nose yet. Um, but. I, we never had much of a, of a, we've only recently found out our ancestry, um, and so I didn't know why I looked how I looked, a long, it is a really long story, I'm really making it sound a bit stupid at the moment, <laughs> by, by um, dumbing it down so much, but, by, by simplifying it so much, but. 
and my dad's side of the family never got to find out where they were from and I forgot about my cup of tea, I forgot about my cup of tea, 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 tea. I haven't planted my nose out yet. So I'm just going to use this rando brush and blend out my nose. Um, anyway, notice that there's nothing wrong with wide noses at all. I think wide noses are so beautiful on so many people. Um, I always just thought it didn't look quite right on my face. And I think that that's what a lot of people with wider um, or any non-conventionally pretty um, noses think but it's just a beauty standard man you'd be so much prettier when you stop worrying about whether how you look is how everyone wants you to look I'm just using the same brow but anyway stop my nose but when you just know how you look stop trying to fight with that fact and just think like oh I look like this there's nothing wrong with it, you'll get so much prettier and you'll stop wasting your time thinking I wish I didn't look like that and figuring out what looks good on you like, okay, I will never have a thin nose and I don't want any rhinoplasty or like non-surgical rhinoplasties um, so I'm not going to sit here and cry I'm just going to figure out what looks nice on me what I like on me. That's another thing as well. I still speak to so many people who are insecure. Me too sometimes. But when you just stop caring. Anyway, really quickly. I'm using the Revolution, Makeup Revolution London palette. I don't know what the hell it's called. Fierce Wild Animal palette. palette. <laughs> and I just use this little orangey thing and just I actually take this right up to under my brow bone just as a yellow because I have like brownie green eyes brings out the green but no as I was saying figure out what you like on yourself I know look at that and there's loads on my eyes well, but I'm just gonna ignore it but yeah figure out what you like on you and then other people will start to like it. If, you, like, I don't know, for me it was just like, Mel, get a grip. <laughs> like, stop whinging. You're alive. Literally, that's it. By the way, I'm putting this, like, colour, quite, that colour, quite drastically on my nose. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you with the light. But it'll make a sound. So do you see what I'm doing? Kind of. Thumbnail. I'm kind of just putting this like colour up here and it looks like a suntan. Like sunburn. Which is so cute. And I don't actually want to get sunburn. So this is the cutest little substitution ever. And I learned from my friend Jess um, that it's still cute if you put pink like around this little bit that you want to point out, that you might want to point out. I think it's just so funny that like I could be changing my face so like imagine I wanted to make my nose as thin as possible. Um, I'm just going to put it a bit everywhere because I don't like how harsh, harsh those lines. Like, it's so funny that I imagine I wanted to make my nose as thin as possible. Well, someone with a thinner nose might be wanting to make it look wider. Like, we're all just arguing and fighting and spending thousands of pounds on surgery to look like the exact same thing. But, oh my god, the most beautiful people are the people with, like, something unique. Like, Emily Ratajkowski, 
I know you knew who I was going to say. Oh my god, she is beautiful. But her nose, um, like, on anyone that wasn't her, everyone would be like, eh, that's not a nice nose. But no, she rocks it. And now, instead of looking like just everyone else, she looks so unique. She shows her heritage. Like, you know, someone in her family has that nose. Anyway, this is just a little lip liner. And I just threw it over a line. I didn't do it then. Ew. That looks horrible. And I'm not gonna blend too much. And I'm not gonna put anything else on. I'm just gonna take this little brush and just give it a once over. This bit down here looks insane, I'm so sorry. You have to look at that. Anyway, please, if you stayed. Ooh. I'm gonna use the same pink. I'm gonna pat it. Well, I'm gonna let you watch the light. Bit more. And now. Sorry that you had to hear that voice again. I heard it all in the last video I did, but um, I liked the video so I didn't want to delete it, but I just couldn't remove the sound. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Um, last thing is I'm going to use this Doll Beauty highlighter. I have to, I have to open it. Gold. Gold. Come on. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm just gonna use this like thin brush and just go on my nose. I'm just gonna pat it in. Like not even in the pan, but just on here. Because it because it's broken and it's all fallen out. I'm just gonna tap it on so I don't get too much. Um, it's all over the palette. I was listening to someone the other day. So yeah, so I go over this in, you know, like the bumpy bit that I made with highlighter and it stops looking like a bump, but you can, it still looks like a sun kiss. Um, that's just how I like to do it sometimes. Um, Maybe I'll stop it as we get closer towards winter than summer, but I've just been really loving it since summer. And now this is so pigmented. This is so pigmented that you really have to blend it like quite well. So I'm just going to use the side of my blender. Just pat it in and it does make it, you know, as look a little bit of it more narrow. I tried to, I tried to change up the lighting so that it, you could see. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna blend in that. look so much more green and I love the sun tan effect love it so much and I'm trying to change but yeah that's how I do my makeup so stuck around I'm so glad and I would love love to open up um, a conversation
conversation about um, body image and um, get talking about who you see yourself. And I'd love as well, this is something I've just thought of this second, I'd love to hear you tell me something that you think is unconventional about your face or your body and tell me why you like it anyway even if you don't believe it even if hmm, say I didn't like my <laughs> let me just try and find something about my face that I don't like normally um, say I didn't like my I can't think of something like a random thing because I don't want to be too, like, I don't want to put my insecurities out there too much um, because I don't want to feed. Hmm, let me think. Say I didn't like the shape of my eyebrows but I couldn't change. No, say I didn't like my eye colour, for example. I could say, okay, well, I know that green or brown, whatever this is, isn't a conventionally pretty colour but I like it because it looks like honey or I know that people with blue eyes or dark brown eyes are more popular I don't know um, but I like mine because they represent moss on trees I'd love mm, <laughs> I'd love if you can point out something about yourself or in the comments that you think is not so conventionally pretty. Let's talk about it man. I'd love to hear what 